Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. Welcome to my third studio vlog. My third studio vlog. Where's the time going, seriously? If you're new here, I am Claire. So I quit my job last July. I worked in education, quit my job last July to do YouTube full time. Don't regret it, absolutely don't regret it. And uh, yeah, so I just started studio vlogging around about two months ago. So this is my third. I hope you absolutely love it because I love putting them together. It's really given me another interest, another dimension to my channel. So yeah, I won't talk for too long because this is a longer one. This is a longer vlog than the other two. Hope you enjoy. And if you do, do not forget to give me that like and a thumbs up. It's the same. That was the same thing. Yeah, that's the same thing. Comment down below and uh, I appreciate you and I'll see you at the end. The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are Did I electrocute people all night long? <laughs> what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. busy hectic to me it's not even youtube related vlog related filming related it is everything else that has been going on like with the radiator falling off the wall um this morning we went to um screw fix we went early doors like half eight this morning to pick up the radiator the new radiator then the window cleaner is due any day any day any minute he's coming today so I'm, I'm looking out for Tony, keeping an eye out for him. Um, and then tomorrow the plumber comes to fit the radiator. And then I think Billy's coming on Thursday to pick up his order. And it, it feels like a hectic week already. It's, it's almost weird to say that because it's not that hectic, but it feels hectic. And then we're back up to the Midlands at the weekend to visit family. So filming aside, I feel like my week has already been quite packed out with certain things that are kind of scheduled in. But today I'm just going to film some jasmineite and paper. I'm going to have a go at that teasel sphere. You would have seen that in the last vlog. Today's Tuesday. So yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. I'm still nervous about the sphere thing, but I'm definitely going to tackle that today. It's a lovely warm day. It's going to be 20 degrees in March, which is crazy. I'm going to stop talking and carry on.
a beautiful day here. I've had my sister here and we've been doing some kind of crafty creating. She's been turning and I've been doing some lino print. And check out how clean she left my shed. I'm gonna turn you around. <laughs> it has not been this tidy ever. Like ever, ever. She's she's even oh my gosh. I should invite her more often. another Monday oh my goodness I don't know where the time is going so yeah we visited family at the weekend just popped up um it's the baby's first birthday so we went up there with her little present and you're so cute made a tutu she looks very cute in it um today I've just had some messages over from Vista so my code has now gone live so this morning I have just been updating my social media, like my Instagram, doing some stories on my Instagram, saving it all to highlights. And I posted on my YouTube community page, just informing people that my Vista code is now live. I have to just set a couple of videos. I've already posted a couple of videos out on my YouTube channel. One tonight, which is the paper in resin, paper in jesmonite. And then the other one is currently being watched by my patrons. That's Wednesday's video which is the leaves and the paper so I just have to make sure that by tonight I reprogram that and schedule that out to actually go live then Saturday's video is already programmed out and that is it so really today I need to crack on with filming for next week um, I'm already thinking about because I've added some paper really what I want to try is adding like complete paper so the whole tray will just look like this so my guess is that the Jesmonite will hold it. But that's my plan for today. At some point, <laughs> I don't know how many vlogs. <laughs> I don't know how many vlogs I'm going to say this in. I'm going to make the teasel, <laughs> the teasel sphere. Like in all, in all honesty, I do need to do a video for Let's Resin. They sent me these things ages ago and I can't just keep putting it off. So I really do need to do that video for them. So that's the tea the teasel inside that's <laughs> i keep saying it and i'm just scared <laughs> Yeah, good start. Today's Wednesday 30th. Um, my plans for today are just to reply to some comments. I'm quite on top of my comments at the moment. I think I'm just one or two days behind. 
so that's quite on top um reply to some comments and then i'm going to film two videos for poly seal that is the ombre and the marbling i believe then i need to crack on i have to upload another video that i filmed for my own channel which is the paper in Jesmonite. Oh my gosh, they came out so nice. I filmed this video and I've edited it, I've produced it. I just have to upload it onto my channel and oh my gosh, I love them so, so much. I am trying to move away from paper in Jesmonite. I don't want to elongate things. I don't want people to be like, all right, Claire, come on, do something else, do something else. Um, I tried the teasel in the sphere. I tried it, I finally did it. Um, and it it didn't work out it didn't work out it did not work out i used the wrong resin because i didn't think i didn't think i thought the depth would be okay for the resin but the depth really was not okay for the resin and i lost my teasel so i have two more and yeah i've ordered some deep pour resin and fingers crossed the next one will go to plan so i put it off for so long because i was scared and then i used the wrong resin who why <laughs> feel like Monday is when I do most of my talking on this vlog um, because I'm ready for the week I'm just like eager to go and get started um, the last thing you saw was me making the silicon mold and it came out so well and I am buzzing I'm so chuffed and I cannot wait to use it to make some pendants so that will be another video um, we did go away at the weekend um, I haven't been out out since September 2021 so I do have quite bad COVID anxiety if you if you know me on a chatting level you will know <laughs> uh, my covid anxiety is real um but i have to tell you about <laughs> i have to tell you about my dress okay i have to tell you about my dress and um, i have quite a few long to the ground ball gowny type dresses for these events and i i can't fit i can't fit in a single one so i was like i need a new dress and i need a new dress asap so i went on to shein um shein is a cheap cheap website um, I've only recently kind of ordered from there and I wasn't disappointed. I ordered some clothes that fit me like a dream and I was like, okay, they might be cheap and synthetic, but they fit. So I got the most beautiful dress. The most beautiful. I'll get it. Hold on. I'll show you. Okay, this is the dress. Okay, I ordered this from Shein and it was just really, really plain. So I ordered this from Amazon beautiful i sewed it on and it made it just pop anyway right okay listen this dress it's to the floor full length dress was 12 pounds 12 pounds okay did i electrocute people all night long <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
did I have to tell people not to come near me because I might set them on fire? Yes. Um, so perfect social distancing dress if anyone is interested sheen velvet 12 pounds bargain and then just zhuzh it up you know get a little something something every time I touch my chair <laughs> got a little shock <laughs> so yeah kudos to um, sheen um, it really helped me social distance all night so my covid anxiety was reduced everyone else got prickly skin when they came near me so Recommend. <laughs> afternoon I've already been really productive today um I've edited and produced the video on making the silicon mold and I've uploaded that to my channel for my patrons on early access so hopefully they'll enjoy that you guys will enjoy that um that will be out on this Saturday coming for everyone else to watch but my patrons do get early access as a thank you for their support um so I've sent that to them and I've also filmed making my own pendants and keychains using the mold which is great i'll show you then hopefully it's focusing on these and not my face but these are what i made um this morning already i've already made kind of quite a few i filled up the mold with jesmonite just making some keychains and some pendants and now i'm going to edit that film i also thought i might try and turn on my lathe i might try and turn an egg now i think i showed you this in the last vlog um, I tried to blow some eggs and make some jesmonite eggs. It was it was too hard to warrant trying again. But I thought if I fill up a plastic cup filled with jesmonite, I could put it on the lathe and try and turn one. So that is what I did. Oh my gosh. This got so hot in the cup. I was like, please, please don't melt the plastic. But it didn't. Um, so I'll be able to clamp this. I say I'll be able to. I'm hoping I'll be able to clamp this in my lathe and turn an egg. So that's something else I've done today. I'm going to leave it for a few days, though, to thoroughly dry out because it's a really deep pour. Um, so, yeah, it's only quarter to two in the afternoon. So quite productive. I'm going to crack on now and edit the video of me making the pendants so that that can be ready. And then I really need to start on some Easter videos like I said in a previous vlog or a previous video, I don't really do Easter, I don't really do season, apart from Christmas and Halloween, love Christmas and Halloween, I don't really do other seasonal kind of videos, but I have had some moulds sent to me by Moulds and Shapes and hopefully I'll receive them in the next couple of days and I have got some really cool moulds for Easter. So I'm going to do more than one Easter video um, and I really need to crack on with starting those today and that's the plan so right now i'm gonna finish my tea which is getting colder by the second and um edit edit yeah i don't think i'm destined to get this tea finished today the door literally just knocked it's only 10 to now and the door just knocked and my parcel has arrived from molds and shapes <laughs> so i'm so excited i know what's in here i'm gonna open it now and show you guys with these teacups I cannot I cannot I come on are they not going to make the most amazing coasters a cup of tea or coffee or coffee <laughs> oh it's unbelievable so yeah I actually what I need to do now I just need to put these to the side and not get too excited about them because I've got other things going on um, and moulds and shapes are incredible. They don't, you know, they don't expect me to do a video next day. They're very much like when you have the time to fit this in, do it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put these to one side. What I do need to do now, I've just remembered, is to get onto my Amazon um, influencer store, my Amazon storefront and add some things in there for the next few videos because 
I sometimes forget that I have to do that. And then when I say it's linked below, it's not linked below. I don't often do that, but I do need to get on there and make sure that I've got everything linked for the next couple of videos um, before I do anything else, really. I've just updated my Instagram for tonight's video and Wednesday's video. I will do tomorrow so yeah i have to do that first so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna leave these and just stare at them while i am updating my amazon store before i edit the next video <laughs> Thank you. 
morning. It is Monday. It's Monday the something of April. <laughs> I have no idea. Today my friend is coming around for lunch which is really nice. Um, and yeah, she's a colleague. We worked together for 15 years. Um, well, I was in my job for 15 years and she was there before me. So she was, the, yeah, we, we've known each other a very, very long time. So her name is Sonia and she's coming around for lunch today at 12, which is really lovely. So uh, of course I've got nothing in for lunch. So I've just come out. I have to get also some tablecloth because I've been sanding down our kitchen table. Um, and that's finally, finally sanded back to its original yumminess um but it's not protected it's not sealed in any way so i thought i'd come out go to the range and get some tablecloth because they do that vinyl on a roll the stuff that you just get cut by the meter you buy by the meter so i'm going to get three meters of tablecloth just to protect the table until we know what we're doing with it don't know if we're going back with a stain or if we're just gonna varnish like clear varnish the top um so we don't know at the moment and then i just need to pop to tesco's or sainsbury's whichever one probably tesco's and get a bit of lunch although i am next to Lidl. I just worry about Lidl's because I like what I like and if I can't get it in Lidl's then I'll sulk. Um, but yeah, I'm here in a place called Lakeside but this is the retail park so this is not the actual mall, the shopping centre mall. Very similar to a lot of places but way smaller I can imagine than America. So over there we've got my favourite shop, HomeSense. And here is the Tim Hortons. <laughs> I got excited. If you follow me on other social media, you'll know you'll know that I got excited about Tim Hortons because it said um, Canada's finest. It says Canada's finest coffee shop. So I was like, lies. I messaged my cousins in Canada. I was like, is that true? And they were like, yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, but I think our Tim Hortons is a bit different to the ones in Canada because when I showed photos of my food, my cousins were like. You cannot get that here. It's it's literally like a coffee breakfast place. But I think I think any fast food chain trying to open up in the UK, it would have been a like if all you sell is coffee, you're in the wrong country, you're in the wrong place. But I am parked right next to Lidl's and the range. The range opens at nine, which is in around five minutes. Yeah, it's in around about five minutes. Yay, it's opening. Okay, let's go. Today is Tuesday, so today, yesterday I, some of you will already know, but I did a hydro dipping video. The stress I had, I cannot even explain. So we were away over Easter weekend, obviously you've seen that foot, a little bit of that footage, um, and we just got back Sunday night, ready for bank holiday Monday, and that meant that as soon as I woke up bank holiday Monday, I had to film. I had to film immediately for a video Monday night. So whilst I was two weeks ahead, I'm now to the wire i have no videos i am not ahead and i definitely don't like this either <laughs> i definitely don't like this either so yesterday morning i filmed the hydro dipping video i started editing that film at half past nine in the morning and it was not finished until four o'clock in the afternoon due to my laptop um crashing 
it kind of froze and then I uploaded the video and it, it, it was a nightmare I didn't know if the video was gonna play but it did and it was amazing and I'm really really happy I'm so happy it actually did really well um, and then I woke up in the morning and it had already reached over a thousand views which is good for me and it's good for my channel so yeah that was my day yesterday absolutely a whole day a whole day taken away because of technology and these are all the little things that you kind of don't see I do have a rant sometimes on Instagram I'm like a laptop um, but these are all the things that, and I sometimes feel like I'm not getting enough done and then I realize that you know that one day I spent like seven hours five six seven hours just because my laptop wouldn't work so all these little things anyway Today I've painted my nails because my nails have finally got back to the length that I was happy with to paint them. When they're shorter than this, they look really ugh when they're painted, but yay. So I'm really happy I've painted my nails again. This means I must start wearing gloves. I must start wearing gloves with Jesmonite because this is drying out my hands. Um, so yeah, I did that this morning. Um, of course I've had two cups of tea and then I need to film one more hydro dipping video because I'm not over it <laughs> I'm not over it. Um, I need to film another one I got a lot of advice in my in my video from last night. I got a lot of advice in the comments So I'm gonna try a couple of extra things um, to see if I can do it better and Yeah, and then I need to film my 60,000 subscriber giveaway video because we were away at the weekend That was meant to go out Saturday, but obviously we were away. So I extended it So I need to film that today and then um, grab some winners for that and Other than that um, That is it. That really is it. I'm still working on this vlog So this morning I have been just adding extra footage to this vlog and Yeah, it's all kind of all the little things all the little things state of play in my space now earlier on in the video you would have seen it nice and clean because I put a new top on here Ugh. anyway it doesn't stay it doesn't last long so the giveaway ran and four out of the five have come forward so far today's Thursday so they've got until tomorrow to come forward but I've got these trays I took photos and sent them so I'm ready to package those up today and send those out to the giveaway winners then I thought, because it's so hot today, I'm actually going to get these shelves out. So in my last vlog, I think I showed the chalk paint. So over here, tucked away in the corner, is the chalk paint from Hemway. Now, we were going to do an affiliate collaboration, but then the affiliate program ended. So after three years of working for them, it all ended. And then I kind of messaged them just to say, like, thank you for the opportunity. And what do I do? Because I've got this chalk paint. Do I, <laughs> you know, I didn't want kind of like to do a video and then say oh there's no code anymore um and then oh my gosh as a thank you i think for working with them for the last three years they sent me all of these brushes like i was not expecting it she just said oh you know do you have brushes for your chalk paint and i just said well no i was just going to use a standard harris and she sent me hemway's entire collection entire collection that is what you saw me opening earlier on in the vlog i mean they are unbelievably beautiful and I was not expecting, I mean, who expects this? I did not expect this. Anyway, they are so kind and yes, the affiliate ship program has ended, but they sent me all of these and to do the Hemway chalk paint as well. So yeah, eternally grateful. Look at the state of this place. Oh, can't cope. <laughs> so my mm. next plan right now, before I package these up, is to get these all down. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room. But the truth is, if I'm I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? I 
Okay, that is the shelves back up. It's only quarter to one in the afternoon, so that is not bad going. It definitely adds a bit of spice. I am loving the colour. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I'm going to take that sign down. I put this sign up when I moved in here four years ago to this room. Um, the A fell down and it has stayed down and ugh, so that's going to come down. I don't think I'm going to go any higher than these shelves though because I just can't reach. I'm a shorty. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving the pop of colour. Really, really loving it. I'm going to put new labels on the buckets even though they are see-through and I can see what's in them. I just like labels i like labels and um, yes yeah, so i'm gonna put new labels on the buckets but probably not today right now i need to clear up this mess the brushes oh my goodness me a dream i've never experienced a brush like a chalk paint brush and what a absolute dream to use like such a blessing but yeah as you can see i kind of dragged everything down so now i just need to tidy this space and I will be happy. That is my shelves all done. Something I've been meaning to do since I got the paint back in March. Really, really happy with it. Really, really, really happy with it. And I do like everything see-through. I like to see what I've got. So I was toying with the idea of getting bigger white containers from Ikea. But I just, oh, I think I'd go nuts. I need to see everything. I'm so visual. I need to see what I've got. Which is why over here, all of my buckets are clear. That's it. That's that's my job for this morning. I'm just going to grab a little bit of lunch, which is probably leftover pizza from yesterday. My pesto pizza. And crack on. And then clear up all of this space and wrap up the prizes for the giveaway. That will be my day done. Then I'm going to start on the Moulds and Shapes Moulds. Ah, let's go! Straight cruising Headed for bruising Watching out for number one you gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow Where you're going You can rest your head Where you're going Brightness looks Post the um, prizes for the giveaway for my 60,000 giveaway. All five came forward. 
that has never happened before when I've ran it for five people I'm always missing one um, but all five came forward as well as a scammer who told me they were someone else um, so anyway I'm glad it's kind of I think people think it's really easy to scam on a giveaway it's not so easy um, but yeah it's all sorted all five came forward so I'm just here at the post office. I'm gonna post these parcels. Then I'm gonna grab something for dinner because I keep forgetting to defrost some meat. And then when I get home, I'm just gonna finish off this clock video. Um, and that is what I'm doing for the next five minutes. 